Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own high-waisted studded shorts. So these are the shorts that I'm going to be using. I got them for like $1.50 at a thrift store. And the tools you're going to need are some scissors and also a tool that has a rigid edge. I don't even know what this is. I just found it in one of the kitchen drawers, but it has a rigid edge, so it'll be good for distressing. And also I have a pair of stronger scissors. So you want to try on your shorts just to get a general idea of where you want to cut them. And then I'm just going to start to cut them. And there's two different ways that you can cut them. You can either go diagonal from the outside to the inside, slanting downwards, or you can just cut um, straight across. But I am going to be cutting at a slight diagonal just to give it more of like a hot pants kind of look. And you want to make sure not to cut too short because you can always cut them, try them on, and if they need to be shorter, you can cut them some more. Just don't cut them too short at once because then you'll just end up ruining the shorts. And right here you can see me cutting the shorts at a slight angle. So now I'm going to begin distressing them and how I'm doing this is I'm just opening the scissors just a little bit and then placing the shorts inside and then just moving the scissors from left to right really fast. And you want to make sure the scissors are kind of tightly closed. So there you can tell one side is distressed and one side isn't. But you want to make sure to do that a lot. I just did it a little bit just to give you guys a general idea and I'm also going to be doing it on the pockets and also on the waistline. And the waist is stiffer, so the stronger, more rigid tool works better for that. And right now I'm just gonna begin cutting holes in the shorts. So I'm using the stronger scissors to cut a slit, and then I'm taking my regular scissors and just cutting across to make a slit, maybe two inches wide. I don't know how long it was. But I'm just going to make probably like three slits in one section and I'm going to be, this is going to create really nice holes and I'm going to do this kind of all over the shorts because I want them to look really distressed. And you're not going to see like the full result until after you put them in the washer and dryer because when you put them in there that's when they really distress and after you take them out that's when you will really see the holes and that's when they really form. So there is just an example of how I cut my holes and the size of the slits that I made and there I'm showing you just all over of where I cut my holes. I did it on both sides. Now I'm going to begin studying. Um, it's pretty easy. All you do is push the stud through the shorts and you push the prongs back and I'm using scissors because it's kind of hard to do and I don't want to cut my fingers so I use scissors to do it. And I am studying it over a label that I took off. So I'm just studying it over the section that you can see that there was a label over. So I'm just going to continue to do this to cover the whole label. And it's pretty easy. It can just be a little time consuming because thicker areas are harder to push through the denim. And your fingers get really tired, but oh well. So 
So there is how it ended up looking. I think it looks pretty cool. And it covers the label, the area where the label was pretty nicely. And then now I took off the back label, so I'm just going to stud all over that. And this the denim was really thick right here, so it was really hard to push through. And it took a really long time just to do one stud, so I'm not showing you the whole thing. I'm just showing you a few studs. So next I put them in the washer and dryer and here is the finished result. Um, I, By the way, I got these studs at Hobby Lobby. You, I think you can get them at any craft store. Um, mine were like $1.50 per pack and you can also get them on eBay. So that's where I got those. I got my shorts at the thrift store so in total these shorts were maybe $3 to make which is a gamble. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!